If we heat a sample of ice, it will melt to water. With further heating, the water will boil to steam. But what's happening at the molecular level during these processes? If we could zoom up on ice, we'd see these water molecules vibrating in a hexagonal crystal structure. The molecules are held in position by attractive forces called hydrogen bonds, but the molecules' vibrations give them kinetic energy. And the temperature of the ice is a measure of the average kinetic energy of these molecules. With the temperature below zero degrees Celsius, the molecules don't have enough energy to break free from the hydrogen bonds. As heat is absorbed, they vibrate more quickly, gaining kinetic energy, and so the temperature increases. At zero degrees Celsius, the ice melts as the molecules have enough energy to break free from the solid structure and enter the liquid state. During melting, the temperature remains constant because the heat is used to overcome the hydrogen bonds instead of speeding up the molecules. In the liquid state, the hydrogen bonds are being formed and broken as molecules slide past each other. Under 100 degrees Celsius, they don't have enough energy to break free of the attraction of nearby molecules. As more heat is absorbed, the molecules move faster, gaining kinetic energy, and so increasing the temperature. At 100 degrees Celsius, the water boils as the molecules have gained sufficient energy to break free. During boiling, the temperature remains constant because heat is used to overcome the hydrogen bonds instead of speeding up the molecules. In the gaseous state, the water molecules are free from the attraction of other molecules. Further heating increases the molecule speed and so increases the steam's temperature. The heating curve of water shows the changes in temperature as heat energy is absorbed over time. The sloping lines show when the temperature of the ice, water or steam is steadily increasing. The flat lines show when the temperature is constant during a state change. When the ice is heating, we see the temperature steadily increasing towards zero degrees Celsius. As the ice is melting, we see the temperature remains constant at zero degrees Celsius. This short section of the graph shows that little heat is required to melt ice into water. When the water is heating, we see the temperature steadily increasing towards 100 degrees Celsius. As the water is boiling, the temperature remains constant at 100 degrees Celsius. This longer section of the graph shows that a relatively large amount of heat is required to boil water into steam. At this point, further heat will increase the temperature of the steam. So, in this video we've seen the changes that occur at a molecular level when ice is heated. We've seen how absorbing heat increases the kinetic energy of the water molecules, and so increases the temperature. And how the hydrogen bonds between molecules are overcome at the melting point and boiling point, and why the temperature remains constant during these processes. Finally, we've seen how all these changes are shown in the heating curve for water.